U.S. stocks increased their losses during the final trading hour on Tuesday. This with the Dow hitting a two-month low on escalating worries over potential U.S. military action in the nation of Syria. This all kicked off this morning after Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel stated that the U.S. military is ready to go if President Barack Obama orders actions over a chemical weapons attack in Syria. Meanwhile, on the U.S. economic front today, home prices, they gained 0.9 percent in June on a seasonally adjusted basis. And compared to figures just one year ago, prices were up 12.1 percent, in line with economist expectations. At the same time, consumer confidence today gained to 81 and a half in August, topping expectations calling for 79.1. And with oil prices today trading above $109 a barrel, marking its best one-day gain of the year, and Treasury prices higher, and gold prices even rallying to a 15-week high on the geopolitical tension sparked, therefore sparking a flight to safer haven currencies and safer haven assets, it looked to be quite a down session for the Dow. Dow Jones today. Speaking of which, taking a look to see how the Dow Jones has performed the session, the Dow Jones down triple digits, 170.33 points to settle in at 14,776.13. In a breakdown of today's major market movers, we first begin with shares of Tiffany and its earnings report, which did see its shares trade higher after the jewelry retail company raised its earnings forecast for the year on strong sales in China, as well as higher prices in the United States, helping to offset weak business. And lastly, JCPenney taking yet another hit today. This after Pershing Square's Bill Ackman sold his entire 18% stake in the retailer, totaling nearly 39 million shares.